lot of people ask me, should you send emails during the holidays, which is the core question we're going to address in this video. So I'm going to explain a little bit about sending during the holidays, best practices, whether or not you should be sending during the holidays, what holidays you should and should not be sending towards, and basically just how you can plan around the holidays with your outbound email campaigns. So without further ado, let's dive in. All right. So should you send emails during the holidays? That is the core question we're going to be answering in this video. So the two things we're going to be answering are number one, should you send emails during the holidays and two do's and don'ts for sending emails on the holidays the days that you should send on the days you shouldn't send on so we're going to dive into this in a little bit more detail also if you don't know who i am my name is matt lucero i send a little over 200,000 emails on smartly.ai so i know a thing or two about sending outbound emails but uh the first question and the main thing we're really going to address in this video is should you send during the holidays what days should you send what days shouldn't you send the short answer is sometimes so there's some holidays you should send on and there's some holidays you shouldn't and the long answer is it really just depends so like everything there is nuance with the situation with few exceptions most holidays are location based so let's say you're in the us or you're in the uk or you're in india or you're in germany the different holidays that you're going to be respecting compared to who you're going to be sending to is very different so i know specifically in the us we have a very broad set of holidays that you know we shouldn't be sending on versus i know there's a bunch of bank holidays or all kinds of stuff in the uk that i had my campaigns running towards and some people said hey Matt like we have our campaigns paused and so it really just depends on where you're located so the exact holidays are going to differ from location but in the US I'm going to speak specifically to the US because there's some major holidays that at least I'm aware of these are the major holidays when I typed into chat GPT I said hey give me all the major holidays in the US because there definitely are two a lot of holidays that aren't considered major and as you know there's probably a zillion holidays it's just which are the ones that are worth pausing the campaigns for so if you look here this is what chat gpt spit out it had new year's day martin luther king jr day president's day memorial day fourth of july labor day columbus day veterans day thanksgiving and christmas so beyond these there's even more holidays in the u.s there's a bunch more that i'm not remembering these are just the ones that i punched in and got out via chat gpt but there's a lot of days in the u.s and i'm speaking again specifically to the u.s that are respected as holidays like you know for example columbus day it's a holiday that most people understand and respect in the u.s however out of most of these most of them aren't actually taken off by businesses and ultimately you are all you're optimizing for with your email campaigns is you just want to make sure that your firepower is not wasted by sending people emails during the holidays that they're not going to be reading or getting an angry response back from someone you know you sent them an email and they're not in the office and they're like why is this guy trying to sell me something so for most businesses like just as an example out of these 10 that chat gpt spit out for example, most businesses that I know of, at least, don't take Veterans Day off, President's Day off, Columbus Day off. The exact days that people take off are completely different. But on the other end of the spectrum, most businesses that I know of take Thanksgiving off and Christmas off and New Year's Day off. So it really just depends. So for example, startups, they typically take less days off and then governments and enterprises take more days off. So really overarching what I'm trying to get at here is that it honestly depends a lot on your ICP. It depends on their location. So the US UK, Canada, India, Germany, you know, France, Spain, wherever you're targeting, it really just depends on the local holidays. Because, you know, if I'm in the US, I'm saying to Spain, it doesn't really matter what the US holidays are, it really just matters what Spain's holidays are. So um, when in doubt, like this is my best rule of thumb for most people watching this video, if you want the shortest answer possible, when in doubt, I would just keep sending. So like worst case scenario, you get some out of office emails, you might get one or two people saying, why are you sending me an email? But for the most part, you could just re add the people back into the sequence a couple days later. But in a lot of cases, I hear people when I talk to people who pause their campaigns relentlessly, they're, they're pausing every other week because they're worried about some holiday, when in reality, 90% of the people are in office and you're just kind of wasting the sending power that you could be using. So um, when in doubt, I would say worst case scenario, you can just keep sending. However, there definitely are a few days that a vast majority of people, again, speaking to the US specifically, because that's where I'm from, are taking off. And I think this is true broadly globally, but again, you know, it depends on your exact location. So these are the days that I would not be sending emails on and I don't send emails on. So Christmas Eve, which also, by the way, is not shown as a true holiday in this list here. But as I know, just based on the culture here most people are taking christmas eve off most people are taking christmas day off new year's eve new year's day fourth of july thanksgiving most of these days are very like 90 plus percent of people are going to be out of office and also another caveat here too there's days 
as part of this calendar that people are taking off that aren't necessarily holidays. So like the time between Christmas Eve and New Year's Day, that's a, a period where I typically pause the campaigns. Yes, there's a few days in between there, but for the most part, there are people who take that entire week off and it's a pretty significant amount, more than the people that take off, you know, for example, Columbus Day, even though that's a true holiday. So also note that, yeah, like I said, the days and the weeks after these holidays, people also take uh, frequently take off, especially around these six, for example, especially around Christmas. So outside of these days, I would probably keep my emails going. Again, there's probably something that I'm missing because some days, you know, it just really depends on where you're sending. And again, I'm speaking specifically to the US, but worst case scenario, you can just re-add them back into the sequence. So there's no need to really overthink this. So the do's and don'ts for holidays. So what I'm gonna cover is really the things you should and should not be thinking about besides the actual dates and the, the days you should be pausing. So do, I would say pause your campaigns on the days where most people are out of office. The keyword is most. So, you know, like I said, there's tons of holidays where some people are out of the office, maybe 10%, 5% or whatever, but you wanna be pausing on the days where most people are out of office so you can save the leads, so you can make sure that you're hitting them at the right time. But again, worst case scenario, you can, you know, re-hit them again. So the way that you do this, very, uh, very simple inside smart lead so if you just log into smart lead go into your email campaigns tab press the three dots here and then you pause the campaign so i have it simply laid out in this picture here you go to the three dots press pause campaign and then all you have to do is repeat this for the active campaigns very simple not very hard and then i would also say another do that you should do around the holidays is making sure that you're leveraging personalization around the holidays so this isn't i would say even a necessary requirement or something that's probably going to make a massive difference but it's something that's very very simple and that you can throw into your campaigns to potentially boost your performance. So after a holiday, you can jump into the sequence editor, change out the first line, change out a PS line and say something like, hi, first name, happy new years. If it's after the new years, maybe the next couple weeks, you could leave that in. You know, you're thinking about this as you're unpausing the campaigns, or you can have a PS line, hey, you're having a great start to the year. Or another way that you can kind of frame this, like in, again, this example with the new years, you can say, hi, first name, are you on pace for your Q1 revenue goal? So you're also causing, um, you're also calling out the time of year. So that's also like another component, not directly like a holiday thing, but a timing thing that you can do if, again, you're going through your pause and you're unpausing these campaigns. But these won't really make or break your campaigns. It's definitely something you can throw in there, give you a little bit of boost in you know the personalization you're sending out in your emails to make your emails just a little bit more effective. And so the don'ts, the things that you shouldn't do around the holidays and be thinking about is excessively pause your campaigns around the holidays where most people are in office. So this is what I was alluding to earlier. There's plenty of holidays that are holidays, but most businesses are in office. And for the sake of this video, and when you're doing outbound and emailing and all this type of stuff, we're speaking specifically around like how can we hit people at the right time so that they get on the phone to buy our product or service or at least hear us out on a sales call so you want to make sure that you're hitting people on the days when they're in the office the exact holiday doesn't matter if a lot of people are in the office you want to be emailing if a lot of people are out of the office you probably don't want to be emailing so I would suggest not to pause campaigns excessively for holidays that you're not sure about when in doubt I would say just let your campaigns ride out a little more and also you can do a super simple uh, super simple Google search and ask questions like, do people usually get X day off? Do people usually get um, President's Day off? Do people usually get Christmas Day off? And you can see here, this is the first thing that popped up on Google. Uh, the least common paid days off were Veterans Day and President's Day. So I would say, again, if you're going to be sending during Veterans Day or President's Day, I would continue it going. And also, yeah, this also depends on government holidays. So if you're reaching out to a government, most governments, at least in the US, get these days off versus if you're reaching out to private entities, they're probably not going to get this day off. Same on the opposite end with Christmas Day and Thanksgiving, you can see 97% are taking Christmas Day off, 97% are taking Thanksgiving off. Yes, you could email during these days, but you're very likely just wasting your leads and your firepower. And the last thing I would say is forgetting to unpause your campaign. So this is a big mistake. You want to make sure that whenever the holidays are over, that you set a quick reminder so you can go ahead and resume campaigns. Again, super easy. All you have to do, press the three dots, press resume campaign and smart lead. They make it super easy. And also while you're at it, this is where you can come in whenever you're unpausing the campaigns, add a little bit of personalization and make sure you kind of spice things up while you have the opportunity there. So that's everything you need to know about sending cold emails during the holidays, the best practices, the do's and the don'ts and everything in between. So if you have any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And if you're ready to take a look at Smart Lead and you wanna start sending out your own outbound campaigns, you can check one of the links down below in the description and also check out the other videos on this.
this channel here where we're gonna be talking a lot about cold email best practices and how to make sure you're getting the most out of your campaign. So appreciate you guys and take care.